Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, student. How are you today? Good morning, ma'am. I'm fine. Good morning, ma'am. I'm fine too. I hope all of you are in good condition. Okay, before we start our meeting, let's pray. Let's pray. Let's let's pray by saying Basmalah together. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, I uh, and then next, I will check your attendance link, list. Uh, Sabil Atila. Yes, ma'am, in here. Uh, Sekar Arun. Yes, ma'am. Is Asma? Present, ma'am. Uh, Rizkika. I'm here. Okay. I hope you guys stay motivated and don't get bored with this online learning. Although uh, you must have felt bored. We can only hope that this COVID-19 will disappear soon and we carry out our activities as usual. And surely all of you have a dreams. Dreams to become a teacher, manager, or president, or dreams to go to Korea or Japan, or dreams to uh, make your parents happy. So, chase your dreams and don't let your dreams just be dreams, okay? Prove to people that your dream come true. Alright, today we will learn about one of the part of speech. Before we continue, could someone mention the part of speech? Um, yes, ma'am, maybe like noun, verb, uh, yes, like that, maybe. Yes, you are right. Uh, but today... We will just learn about the article. Uh, I'm sure that you are already familiar with article. Uh, can someone mention the exam an example for article? The example for article like uh, and the and others. Yes, you are right. Thank you, Iza. And then, okay, uh, I will share the material. Wait a minute. Can you see my presentation? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, what is meaning the art? What is, mean, what is the meaning of article? An article is a word used to modify a noun, which is a person, place, or object, or idea. Next. The type of article. There is two types of article. The first is definite article or the. A definite article is an article that serves as a specific object. And number two is indefinite article, a uh, or an. An indefinite article is an article whose function is the object that is mentioned for the first time or is not specific. Next. Remember, an is used before words that begin with a vowel, a, i, u, e, o. For example, an if an apple, an onion, an iPhone, and used before words that begin with a vowel sound. For example, an hour. Okay, and a is used before words that begin with a consonant sound. For example, a strawberry, a book, a table. Next, indefinite article. Where we use indefinite article a or an. We use when the sentence is it's mentioned the singular countable noun. We use a or an before singular countable nouns to mean one, and a and a or an not for uncountable noun. For example, I have a car. In here, car is singular countable nouns. And then in first mention, we use a or an to introduce a subject which has not been mentioned before. For example, he bought a new car. And next, uh, in general statement, 
we use a or an in a general statement. For example, a house has door. So we know that uh, we know that in general, every house must have a door. Next, next, uh, if does not know which. We use a or an when the listener or reader does not know exactly which person or thing we mean. For example, I met a man on the street. Uh, we, we use a because uh, they don't know which person is referring to. So in, in this sentence, we use a. Next. And then where we use definite article the, for general, article the can be used in front of all predefined for noun. Countable plural noun, for example, the chairs. Countable singular nouns, for example, the chair. And uncountable nouns, for example, the water. Next. <laughs> but article the also used in this following situation. The first is mentioned before. The second time, the speaker mentioned of now. For example, I saw a boy standing in a yard. The boy looked like your son. Uh, we know uh, in this second sentence, we use the because the first sentence is already uh, mentioned. Uh, so we know that uh, who is the boy. Okay. Next, number two, refer to in front of a noun that has been understood the meaning of the sentence sentence before or after it for example the house i saw a big next number three only one when some when something is common knowledge for example the moon circles the earth uh, we know that in this life there is only one moon and one earth so we can say or we can write the moon circles the earth okay number four superlative with the superlative of object of adjective for example he is the tallest man in the group right number five ordinal number for example in front of an ordinal number for example this is the third lesson or this is the first lesson okay Next, number six is a quench. In front of the word indicating the order. For example, the last, the next, the following. And then, uh, number, se number seven, uh, when we mention the body of water. In front of a noun relate to a body of water, such as the name of river, channel, or ocean. For example, the Bengawan Solo River, the Pacific Ocean. And then next number eight is geographic place, but this is the plural. In front of the name of the country of state that includes of the type of government or in the plural. For example, the United States, the Philippines, the Republic of Ireland. Next, when we mention the type, in front of the adverb of type, for example, in the morning, in the night or in the evening. Next. And then when we uh, mention the group of people, the plus adjective in front of an adjective that function as a noun to indicate a certain group. For example, the poor, the clean, or the British. Next, when we mention the noun of noun. In front of place names that use the word of, for example, the Tower of London, the Statue of Liberty, the Bank of Indonesia, or the University of Texas. And then next, when we mention the music instrument, with the names of musical instrument, for example, she plays the violin, right? Um, and then the last. The person names plus subject in front of a plural plus name meaning family. For example, the Smith, the meaning is Mr. and Mrs. Smith and children, or meaning the family of Smith. Okay, until here, is there any question? 
No, ma'am. Okay. Not yet, ma'am. I think you you will you can understand. Okay, for your exercise, please your op please open your psychology and do the exercise on meeting second meeting. Okay. Uh, are there any question? Not yet, ma'am. Okay. I think that's enough from me from the lesson today. Uh, if you have a question, you can write in WhatsApp group. Yes. Uh, okay, let's close this meeting by saying hamdallah together. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin Okay, thanks for your participant Stay healthy and keep your distance Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Thank you, ma'am Okay, you're welcome, thank you